Hey, emergency video, because this is kind of firing me up. Today, April 15th, this letter was leaked out online from MITRE. It says, Dear CVE board member, we want to make you aware of an important potential issue with MITRE's enduring support to CVE. On Wednesday, April 16th, tomorrow, the current contracting pathway for MITRE to develop, operate, and modernize CVE and several other related programs, such as CWE, will expire. The government continues to make considerable efforts to continue MITRE's role in support of the program. If a break in service were to recur, we anticipate multiple impacts to CVE, including deterioration of national vulnerability databases and advisories, tool vendors, incident response operations, and all manner of critical infrastructure. What? What the fuck? My buddy Tiberius was the first to break the news on this, and uh, that's the gist. That's the long and short of it. CVE's just kind of dying tomorrow. Now, presumably this was a leak. I see someone chatting, oh, you leaker, and Tibbs responds, the public deserves to know this, which, uh, yeah. There's a lot of chatter and conversation on this, but I think most folks that I know are upset, frustrated, sad, angry, heartbroken, all of the things that are a bit like, what? I got to chat with some reporters about this pretty quickly after the news broke, but US funding running out for critical cyber vulnerability database, manager says. Now, the defense and research focused nonprofit MITRE Corporation says funding from the government runs out on Wednesday for it to maintain a critical database of cyber vulnerabilities used by security researchers and digital defenders the world over. I don't think I need to break it down for you what the heck a CVE is. We've covered that in many videos. That's just the, the focus of this channel and my life, right? MITRE said in an email that the funding will expire. You can see the quotes there. The Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agency, CISA, whose parent agency funds the contract, confirmed the contract was ending and said, we are urgently working to mitigate impact and to maintain CVE services on which global stakeholders rely. This is so bonkers to me. This is like vulnerabilities. This is the common language that we use, just kind of getting cast out, thrown on the ground, tossed out the window. Reuters couldn't establish the reason for the contract's lapse, but CISA is, like the rest of the federal government, undergoing a radical downsizing driven in part by tech tycoon Elon Musk's US Doge service. Now, I don't like to play in the political pool, but my God, cyber defenders said they were aghast at the news of the program's lapse. One compared it to suddenly deleting all dictionaries. Now, this is me, right? These are my words. We'd lose the language and lingo we use to address problems in cybersecurity, said me. I swore out loud when I heard the news, I really can't help but think this is just gonna hurt. Perfect quote from Brian Martin, pulling the plug on the database would cause an immediate cascading effect that will impact vulnerability management on a global scale. You're just cutting the legs off the cybersecurity industry. Forbes, uh, cybersecurity world on edge as CVE program prepares to go dark. This is what's bewildering to me because it's tomorrow, right? And there's a lot of uncertainty, absolute kind of like chaos of like, what are we gonna, what, what's, what's happening? What do? No more CVEs? Do we just go off of hope? Are we vibe coding? Now there's vibe vulnerabilities? For the cybersecurity community, this is a five alarm fire. And scrolling down, there is no backup plan. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen tomorrow, today, if this video goes out then, but like, what the f***? <gasps> Obviously, everyone is talking about this. LinkedIn, Twitter, news articles, Brian Rebs got it out. MITRE has announced the funding is gonzo. The CV database is critical, obviously. I reached out, looks like, yeah, it's real. The leak now confirmed, they include the contract. Oh, wow, cool. USAspending.gov, we can see this coming down. This is with DHS, Department of Homeland Security, with MITRE, looks like details here, amount, money, blah, blah, blah. What else is there? Does this include the date? Brian Krebs said, yeah, end date 4-16-2024? Troll F for like 2025. There is no mention of 2025 other than the copyright footer. Okay. Include a link for that in the video description, I guess. Note here, MITRE CVE database is likely going offline tomorrow. They've told me that for now, historical records will be available on GitHub. <laughs> linking to the CVE project on GitHub. Okay, cool. All my blog posts are just gists and markdown files anyway. Seems like there are a lot of unknowns at this point about exactly what happened this week, but more of what I've gathered. CVEs will still be issued to CNAs or CVE numbering authorities like vendors, researchers, open source, cert, hosted service, bug bang provider, blah, blah. We're a CVE, C CNA. Like we, Huntress is a CNA, um, but MITRE's like the one, right? They're the thing. Apparently it's up to the CVE board to decide what to do, but for now, no CVEs will be added after tomorrow. The CVE website will still be up. Someone links the Forbes article, and then a lot of the chatter is like, WTF? <laughs> 
And Jen Easterly, the director of SZA, had put out a post on this, so I want to scroll down for that. She says three double exclamation points, six exclamation points. Quick note, a potential shutdown or disruption of the CVE database maintained by MITRE is raising alarms across the community. May sound like a technical issue, but it has serious implications for business risk, operational resilience, and national security. We all know, look, this is the common language. This is how we talk about problems, vulnerabilities, weaknesses, flaws. That's the name. What are we going to do? Are we going to switch to threat actor naming conventions where it's just like random Pokemon and now we just, I don't know, it's not an ID number anymore. It's just whatever we decide to say, oh, heart bleed, heart poop, whatever. She says, if CVEs vanish, so does one of the clearest public sector warning systems that we have. Cyber threats don't stop at borders. Neither does defense. Lose this and everyone's flying blind. What the fuck? I'm sorry. I know that I'm like off the chain going crazy about this thing, but it just blows my mind. This feels unreal. I don't know what the heck the fallout's going to be. Threat actors now got CVEs to do whatever they want. I'm going to mint a dollar sign CVE coin. Super bad for cybersecurity landscape. Yeah, what's the CVSS score on this, right? <laughs> Look, I don't know what the fallout's gonna be from this, but I cannot think it's nothing other than a bad thing. This is going to hurt, not help. And I don't know, look, is it just big industry players now gonna come together? Is it nonprofits that are just gonna, I don't know, try to take the place here? Do we have a lot of things, whether it's federal government or not? I don't know if this came from what would be Doge doing Doge stuff, Dogeing it up. I don't know, but it kind of pisses me off and I'm sad. I'm crossing my fingers that stuff is going to be good, but I know people are working towards a solution. Can we get an extension? Can we think about this? Can we talk about this? But it's just sounding like a gosh darn bad thing. So I'm going to keep crossing my fingers over there. And that's the video. But I wanted to make sure I can get the word out. I am siding with Tibbs here that, look, people gotta know about this thing. Really want to make sure that folks are aware. And we're talking about it. Not leaving it on the corner. Not letting it just, oh, slip by. Seriously, CVEs are like the ground that we stand on. It is paramount, foundational, fundamental to like what we do to make the cybersecurity industry better. So can we please make it better and not worse? That's it, man. That's the video. I'm gonna go rant somewhere else.